everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review as well as a demo of the brand new Kat Von D Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. So this is a spin-off of the original Good Apple Foundation which was like a cream compacty thing. Never bought it because I just heard bad reviews that it was greasy slimy slid off the face. But when this one came out I was kind of a little bit more intrigued because I always find that those cream kind of a compact foundations are very slip slidey on the face so I wanted to try out this one to see if it was any good so I think the retail price of this is £34 I got mine from Boots but I paid a little bit less because it was on 20% off and it is 30 mil got the classic Kat Von D swirly whirly designs around the edges and this is a glass bottle with a plastic top and then when you remove it, it just has a normal pump applicator, which works very nicely, doesn't push out too much product, so you can actually control the amount that comes out. So if you want a little bit to come out or a lot to come out, it's up to you. So the shade that I got mine in is medium 36. And apparently if you use the original foundation of the Good Apple range, the color is exactly the same in this one. Because I wasn't sure, I kind of just guessed. Um, I would personally say that this color works perfectly for me right now in winter when I'm at my playlist but as soon as I even get a tiny bit of a tan it will be too dark for me so I will have to get the next shade up if I wanted to. My shade is described as for light to medium skin with warm undertones because that's exactly what I have and the next shade up after this is number 39 for medium to warm undertones so maybe that shade will work next for me I'm not sure but I would personally have to try it out in store to actually make 100% sure. The great thing about this range is that there are 40 shades so this should technically be something for everybody it's been split into light medium tan and deep and I obviously sit between kind of light and medium depending on what time of year it is now they have marketed this as a full coverage serum foundation and let me just read off their website what they say about this full coverage with a natural finish transfer proof extreme long wear with a lightweight serum feel it covers everything from blemishes to acne scars hyperpigmentation discoloration and more you've never seen seen a natural full coverage like this so it is apparently infused with apple extract and it's got our iconic good apple full coverage with an undetectable serum like feel I don't know what that means. What does it mean by our iconic good apple? Do they have their own apple? Transfer proof, extreme long wear, high performance wear that stands up to sweat and humidity, poor blurring natural finish, best for combination to oily skin. I've got normal to combination skin, but anyone can wear it. Quince leaf extract helps keep shine in check instantly all day. Flexible elastomer pigments, good apple blends and bends with your skin for a seamless finish and easy application every time. Lux recyclable glass bottle to cut down on foundation waste. So you only use what you need. 40 shades, obviously. non comedogenic and flashback free. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Now they say that the way to use it is to shake it well before each use. Use a sponge and tap it onto your skin to build it up whatever level of coverage you want. Or use a dense foundation brush with a buffing motion for more immediate full coverage. So the usual kind of thing, if you use a sponge, obviously it blends out a little bit better, less full coverage. And if you want more intense, you just go in with a brush because sponges tend to soak up a lot of the product anyway. So the way that you're going to see me using this in today's video is I'm using this Real Techniques buffing brush. The name's rubbed off. It's so old. The handle is stained. I didn't even know that was a thing and all you're going to see me doing is applying this in very small amounts to my face because of the fact that I'm aware firstly that the foundation shade can be a little bit too light for me depending on where I place it at the end of the day I am South Asian I don't know a single South Asian person who's got one skin color all over my forehead is darker than my cheeks then my neck then my hands then my ears everything so we kind of do the best that we can but I have managed to make it work for me just by using a little bit of contour powder especially around the areas around my hairline because my forehead like I said is darker than the rest of my face but I'm going to apply this all over my face little little amounts slowly building it up building up that coverage so that you can also see then what it looks like on one side of my face compared to the other side of my face which has got nothing on it just to give you guys a kind of idea of the type of coverage that it has then I'm going to move on obviously to the other side of my face and I'm applying it in small amounts 
blending it into the skin so that it goes in seamlessly and there are no harsh lines or anything like that. What I did do after this video is I did set it and I'm just going to show you what I set it with. It's with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, powder. My shade is in 220 Natural Beige. You don't actually have to set this if you don't want to. When I first tried this out, I didn't set it at all and it was perfectly fine because this does actually leave a very nice soft velvety kind of finish. The only reason I would ever suggest to set a foundation is just to add to that longevity because at the end of the day you don't know what kind of weather extremes you may be in and you may need a little bit of help without realizing it. Okay so they say it is full coverage right so I would say that it definitely is. It is full buildable coverage meaning that you can start off light and build it up to the intensity that you want not everybody necessarily wants a mask over their face some people want to let their natural skin shine through a little bit some people just want to even out their skin and some people want to cover everything and anything and that's okay but at least you know with this foundation you have got that option transfer proof now hmm I would say that yes it kind of is I don't think it is to the level that the Estee Lauder double wear is bear in mind that is my favorite one of my favorite foundations that I always use for transfer checking let's see where shall I rub it above my lip a tiny little bit came out but then again I did press quite hard the whole purpose of normal transfer proof is like let's say you hug somebody or you've got a scarf on and the foundation will run this doesn't so actually I kind of do sort of 80% sit with that agreement with them that it is transfer proof. Stands up to sweat and humidity 100%. I wore this the other day. I put it on at 8 o'clock in the morning and I didn't get home till 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, that was almost 24 hours basically because it was a long day. I went to work and then I went out in the evening. It did not move you guys and I was playing golf. Okay, indoor golf. And then I went out partying. It was very crowded. It was very sweaty. I'd take my coat off and... It did not move. So yes, it definitely is sweat and humidity proof. Best for combination to oily skin, but anyone can wear it. Well, I would say obviously that it's completely up to you. Personally, I find that it gives a really nice soft sort of finish to the skin. But if you have got oily skin, it will definitely benefit you more because it really does control that shine very well. In terms of if you've got dry skin, one thing I do have to admit is that at the moment, I've got a patch of dry skin on my chin and it has clung onto it and I'm dealing with a little bit of eczema on the side of my nose at the moment and it has clung onto it. So that's the reason why they have most likely said that it's best for combination to oily skin and they haven't mentioned dry. Now if you've got dry skin, just naturally dry skin, you probably can wear it but if you've got dry patches it will cling onto those areas so just bear that in mind. It's got those flexible elastomer pigments apparently which bends with your skin for a seamless finish and easy application. Yep, definitely. I didn't notice any smile lines appearing. I didn't notice any laughter lines appearing. It really does blend seamlessly onto the skin, making it really, really easy to blend in nicely without the need to hurry up because it doesn't dry down super, super fast. For example, like the Estee Lauder one does and you have to work really quickly before it starts to dry down. Lightweight all day wear. Yep, doesn't feel heavy or anything like that on the skin. It doesn't break down on the face, I've noticed as well. It doesn't go patchy. It doesn't start to separate this is an excellent excellent foundation and I'm genuinely very very happy with it so take my word for it for somebody who wore it for almost 24 hours it was great and it held up beautifully now it is a little bit on the heavy side and I'm going traveling soon so I probably won't take it with me for that reason but I definitely will probably invest in the darker shade um, as the months start to get a little bit lighter and I'm more likely to catch a little bit of more sun on my face I've got textured skin it does not emphasize the texture on my skin any pores that I may have around my face it doesn't help them it actually minimizes and diffuses them as well I like the matte finish of this foundation it gives a really nice naturally matte look to the face I'm somebody who doesn't like glowy foundations I've always preferred matte because I've got textured skin so this is something that I will probably always reach for it makes my skin look flawless it makes my skin look airbrushed and one of the main reasons I like this so much is because a little bit goes such a long way I don't actually have to apply that much at all to 
build up to full coverage. It covers everything beautifully. My redness, my red marks, any kind of hyperpigmentation is evened everything out. I'm genuinely very, very happy with this foundation and I highly recommend it for any of you that are on the market for something new and you love full coverage foundations. Even if you don't love full coverage, you can still use it to its medium coverage capacity. Obviously, it's completely up to you. Even when I really think about it in terms of its transferability, is the bit that came off the powder that I've put on top or is it the foundation itself? I'm gonna guess and say it's the powder itself. So anyway, that's my short, sharp review of the brand new Kat Von D Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. Really, really love it, 10 out of 10. I love the fact that it's got this serum-y kind of feel. It's not too runny, it's not too liquidy, but it's also not thick and chunky like a lot of other full coverage foundations can be. So you will really like the fact that its blendability is so easy because it has got that kind of serum type of finish. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you've got any more questions about this foundation in particular. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video.